Okay, good morning. We're going to be looking, we know of a big Kudu bull. Um, Gordon has always wanted a bull over 60. This bull should be well over 60 from what we know. And uh, yeah, I think it will be a good morning. It's going to be something that you've been looking forward for three, okay, tried to hunt it for three years, but yeah. looking forward for your life. My whole life, yeah. So it's a dream, dream animal. And I think, uh, I think it's going to happen this morning. Yeah, we're uh, ready to go. And hopefully the kudu is uh, somewhere to be found. See how it goes. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, kudu is crazy. You see, that's where you can see where something is clearly over 60. Is if they, like, from the side, it just you can see the depth of the spiral. Ethan picked the lucky bullet, and uh, we're going to be uh, hopefully putting that same bullet in my uh, monster kudu. We've been waiting for a long time, and I think Ethan's even more excited than I am. That cows, those cows were 100 meters behind him. There's nothing wrong. Just hold on, we'll wait for them to move and then we'll move again, just stand still, just slow movements with your head and everything. Do you see the bull? He's gonna step out at the back it's any moment now. There he comes. I'm going to whistle when he gets there. Okay, okay. okay. You hurt him real bad. I would take another shot. I hit him right in the heart. Yeah, you hit him really good. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> That's how, how long have you been waiting That's for that? That's how I shoot, baby. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit. I can't believe we just shot a bull like that. I can't believe it either. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Wow. A little back. Because he took a step when it was moving. Wow, yeah, those ones. <laughs> we went on these kudu tracks and we uh, followed these. The bull was with uh, about 20 females and uh, we followed them for probably spent about half an hour yeah, well, maybe going after more, him yeah. and in this open terrain it was just pretty impossible to get close to these guys and um, yeah after a couple of failed attempts we finally
got into a situation where we waited under a tree and they moved our way. Um, we couldn't get the bull to stop, but uh, Gordon made a beautiful shot while the bull was moving and, uh, well, couldn't have done it better myself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, it, uh, it was a great, great, great experience. It's uh, something I've been uh, looking for for a very long time and uh, I want to thank uh, Hein and uh, JP and everyone here who helped me uh, get this uh, magnificent, magnificent animal because it's, uh, it's definitely a dream and once in a lifetime for, for anyone. So, um, beautiful bull and uh, he, uh, amazing memories. I'm here with my son as well and my friend and Jason and it's going to be a great story to tell for a very long time. It uh, definitely was a special day. It's not... Uh Personally, the biggest kudu bull that I've guided, and uh, this guy should be over 65, and uh, yeah, phenomenal animal, like really, really pretty animal.